Chapter 18 of Jerusalem to Revelations A Quartet of Spiritual Experience by William Blake and others. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Tony Addison. The Chapters of Coming Forth by Day From the Papyrus of Ani. Vignette the funeral procession to the tomb and the ceremony thereat are here depicted the mummy of the deceased lying in a funeral chest placed in a boat is being drawn along by oxen figures of the goddesses nephthys and isis stand at the head and foot respectively by the side kneels the wife of the deceased in the front of the boat stands the Sem priest, dressed in a panther skin, burning incense and sprinkling water, and behind follow eight male mourners. In the rear are servants drawing a small funeral chest, surmounted by a figure of Anubis, and carrying vases of unguents, along with the couch staff, chair, pallet, etc., of the deceased. Preceding the oxen drawing the funeral boat are men carrying on yokes, boxes of flowers, vases of unguents, etc., and a group of wailing women with uncovered heads and breasts who smite their heads and faces in token of grief. Close by stand a cow and her calf, intended to be slaughtered for the funeral feast, and tables loaded with offerings of herbs, fruits, etc. At the door of the tomb stands the god of the dead, Anubis, clasping the mummy of the deceased, before which kneels the weeping wife, at a table of funeral offerings stand two priests. One, the Sem priest, wears a panther skin and holds in his hand a libation vase and censer. The other holds in his right hand the instrument Ur Heka in the form of a ram headed serpent the head of which is surmounted by an uraeus, and in his left hand an instrument in the shape of an adze. With the former he is about to touch the mouth and eyes of the mummy, and with the latter the mouth. On the ground by their side lie the instruments which are to be employed in the ceremony of opening the mouth, that is, the ceremony which will give the deceased the power to eat, and to drink, and to talk in the next world, namely the mesket, the group of instruments in the form of adzes, the pesh en kef, the libation vases, the boxes of purification, the bandlet, the feather, etc. Behind them stands the reader, who recites the funeral service from a papyrus roll, and to the rear is a ministrant who holds the haunch of beef which is to be used in the ceremony at the door of the tomb. Here begin the chapters of Coming Forth by Day, and of the songs of praise and glorifying, and of coming forth from, and of going into, the glorious Nater Kert in the beautiful Amentet, which are to be recited on the day of the burial, 
whereby the deceased shall go in after coming forth. Saith Osiris Ani, Osiris the scribe Ani, Homage to thee, O bull of Amentet, the god Thoth, the king of eternity, is with me. I am the great god near the divine boat. I have fought for thee. I am one of the gods, those divine chiefs, who make Osiris to be victorious over his enemies on the day of the weighing of words. I am thy mediator, O Osiris. I am one of the gods, born of the goddess Nut, who slay the foes of Osiris, and who hold in bondage for him the fiend Sebau. I am thy mediator, O Horus. I have fought for thee, and I have put to flight the enemy for thy name's sake. I am Thoth, who made Osiris to be victorious over his enemies on the day of the weighing of words in the great house of the aged one, that is, Ra, who dwelleth in Anu, Heliopolis. I am Tet Teti, the son of Tet Teti. I was begotten in Tatu. I was born in Tatu. I am with those who weep, and with the women who bewail Osiris in the two lands of Rekt, and I make Osiris to be victorious over his enemies. Ra commanded Thoth to make Osiris victorious over his enemies, and that which was decreed for Osiris, Thoth did for me. I am with Horus on the day of the clothing of Tesh Tesh, and of the opening of the wells of water for the purification of the divine being, whose heart moveth not and of the drawing the bolt of the door of the concealed things in Restau. I am with Horus, who acteth as the guardian of the left shoulder of Osiris in Sakem, Letopolis, and I go in and I come forth from among the divine flames on the day of the destruction of the Sabao fiends in Sakem. I am with Horus on the days of the festivals of Osiris, and of the makings of offerings on the sixth day festival, and on the Tenat festival, which is celebrated in Anu. I am the priest who poureth out libations in Tatu, Farire, the dweller in the temple of Osiris. Heliopolis, on the day of casting up the earth. I see the things which are concealed in Restau. I read from the book of the festival of the divine ram, which is in Tatu. I am the serf-priest, and I perform his course. I perform the duties of the great chief of the work, on the day of placing the Henu boat of the god Saker upon its sledge. I have grasped the spade on the day of digging the ground in Suten Henen, Heracleopolis Magna. O ye who make perfected souls to enter into the temple of Osiris, may ye cause the perfected soul of Osiris the scribe Ani, to be victorious with you in the temple of Osiris. May he hear as ye hear, may he see as ye see, may he stand as ye stand, may he sit as ye sit therein. O ye who give cakes and ale to perfected souls, in the temple of Osiris, 
give ye cakes and ale at the two seasons that is at morn and at eve or sunrise and sunset to the soul of osiris ani who is victorious before all the gods of abtu abydos and who is victorious with you o ye who open the way and lay open the paths to perfected souls in the temple of osiris open ye the way and lay open the paths to the soul of osiris the scribe and steward of all the divine offerings ani who is victorious with you may he enter in confidence and may he come forth in peace from the temple of osiris may he not be rejected may he not be turned back may he enter in as he pleaseth may he come forth as he desireth and may he be victorious may the things which he commandeth be performed in the temple of osiris may he walk and may he talk with you and may he become a glorious being along with you he hath not been found to rise up there and the balance having weighed him is now empty in the turin papyrus this chapter ends with the following lines for which no equivalent occurs in the earlier texts let not the decree of judgment passed upon me be placed or according to another reading made known in the mouths of the multitude may my soul lift itself up before osiris having been found to have been pure when on earth may i come before thee o lord of the gods may i arrive at the home of double right and truth may i be crowned like a god endowed with life may i give forth light like the company of the gods who dwell in heaven may i become like one of you lifting up my feet in the city of ker abot may i see the sectet boat of the sacred sahu that is orion passing forth over the sky may i not be driven away from the sight of the lords of the tuat underworld or according to another reading the company of the gods may i smell the sweet savour of the food of the company of the gods and may i sit down with them may the care heb that is the reader make invocation at my coffin and may i hear the prayers which are recited when the offerings are made may i draw nigh unto the neshem boat and may neither my soul nor its lord be turned back homage to thee o thou who art at the head of amentet thou osiris who dwellest in the city of Nifu'er. Grant thou that I may arrive in peace in Amentet, and that the lords of Tartechesotet may receive me, and may say unto me, Hail, hail, thou that comest in peace. May they prepare for me a place by the side of the chief in the presence of the divine chiefs may isis and nephthys the two divine nursing goddesses receive me at the seasons and may i come forth into the presence of unnefer that is osiris in triumph 
May I follow after Horus through Reistatet and after Osiris in Tatu, and may I perform all the transformations according to my heart's desire in every place wheresoever my car double pleaseth so to do rubric if this text be known by the deceased upon earth or if he causeth it to be done in writing upon his coffin then will he be able to come forth on any day that he pleaseth and to enter into his habitation without being driven back the cakes and ale and haunches of meat which are upon the altar of Ra, shall be given unto him, and his homestead shall be among the fields in the sectet Ayanru, and to him shall be given wheat and barley therein, for he shall be vigorous there, even as he was upon earth. Chapter 1b from the papyrus of Nectu Amen. Vignette The god Anubis, jackal-headed, standing by the side of the bier on which lies the mummy. Text The chapter of making the sahu, that is, the spiritual body, to enter into the That, that is, underworld, on the day of the funeral, when these words are to be said. Homage to thee, O thou that dwellest in set Techeset of Amentet, Osiris, the royal scribe, neck to Amen victorious, knoweth thee, and he knoweth thy name. Deliver thou him from the worms which are in Restau, which live upon the bodies of men and women, and which feed upon their blood. For, O Zyrus, the favoured one of the god of his city, the royal scribe, neck to our men, victorious, knoweth you, and he knoweth your names. Let this be the first bidding of Osiris neb er who keepeth hidden his body. May he give air and escape from the terrible one who dwelleth in the bite of the stream of Amentet, and may he decree the actions of him that is rising up. Let him pass on unto him whose throne is within the darkness, who giveth glory in Restau. O Lord of light, come thou, and swallow up the worms which are in Amentet. The great God, who dwelleth in Tatu, and who is unseen, heareth his prayers, but those who are in affliction fear him, as he cometh forth with the sentence to the divine block. I, Osiris, the royal scribe, neck to Amen, have come bearing the decree of neb er and Horus hath taken possession of his throne for him. His father, the lord of those who are in the boat of Father Horus, hath ascribed praise unto him. He cometh with tidings, and may he see Anu Heliopolis. Their chief standeth upon the earth before him, and the scribes magnify him at the door of their assemblies, and they bind his swathings in Anu. He hath led captive heaven and he hath seized the earth in his grasp. Neither the heavens nor the earth can be taken away from him, for behold, he is Ra, 
the first-born of the gods his mother suckleth him and she giveth to him her breast in the horizon rubric the words of this chapter are to be recited after the deceased is laid to rest in Amentet, whereby the region Tanenet is made to be content with her lord. Then shall Osiris, the royal scribe, Nictu Amen, triumphant, come forth, and he shall embark in the boat of Ra, and his body upon its bier shall be counted with those therein, and he shall be established in the Tuat underworld. Chapter 2 From the Papyrus of Ani Vignette A man standing upright, holding a staff, text the chapter of coming forth by day and of living after death saith osiris ani victorious hail one shining from the moon hail one shining from the moon grant that this osiris ani may come forth among those multitudes which are outside and let him be established as a dweller or let him go about among the denizens of heaven and let the underworld be opened unto him and behold osiris osiris ani shall come forth by day to do whatsoever he pleaseth upon the earth among the living ones chapter three from the papyrus of new vignette this chapter has no vignette text another chapter like unto the preceding the chancellor in chief new triumphant saith hail thou god tem who comest forth from the great deep and who shinest with glory under the form of the double lion god send out with might thy words unto those who are in thy presence and let the chancellor in chief nu triumphant enter into their assembly he hath performed the decree which hath been spoken to the mariners of ra at eventide and the osiris nu triumphant liveth after he hath died even as doth ra day by day as Ra is born from yesterday, even so shall the Osiris Nu be born from yesterday, and every god shall rejoice at the life of the Osiris Nu, even as they rejoice at the life of Ptah, when he maketh his appearance from the great temple of the aged one, which is in Anu. Chapter from the papyrus of nu vignette this chapter has no vignette text the chapter of passing over the celestial road of restau the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief the osiris nu triumphant saith I open out a way over the watery abyss which formeth a path between the two combatants, that is, Horus and Set, and I have come. May the fields of Osiris be given over into my power. Chapter 5 From the Papyrus of Nebseni Vignette a seated man text the chapter of not letting work be done in the underworld by nebseni the scribe and draughtsman in the temple of ptah who saith i lift up 
the hand of the man who is inactive i have come from the city of unu hermopolis i am the divine soul which liveth and i lead with me the hearts of the apes chapter six from the papyrus of nebseni vignette a standing bearded male figure text the chapter of making the shabti figure to do work for a man in the underworld the scribe nebseni the draughtsman in the temples of the north and south the man highly venerated in the temple of ptah saith o oh, thou shabti figure of the scribe nebseni the son of the scribe tena victorious and of the lady of the house mutreshtha victorious if i be called or if i be a judge to do any work whatsoever of the labours which are to be done in the underworld behold for thee opposition will there be set aside by a man in his turn that the judgment fall upon thee instead of upon me always in the matter of sowing the fields of filling the watercourses with water and of bringing the sands of this east to the west the shabti figure answereth verily i am here and will come whithersoever thou biddest me chapter seven from the papyrus of ani vignette the deceased spearing a serpent text the chapter of passing over the abominable back of apep the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant saith hail thou creature of wax who leadest away victims and destroyest them and who livest upon the weak and helpless may i never become weak and helpless before thee may i never suffer collapse before thee and thy poison shall never enter into my members for my members are as the members of the god tem and since thou thyself dost not suffer collapse i shall not suffer collapse o oh, let not the pains of death which come upon thee enter into my members i am the god tem and i am in the foremost part of nu that is the sky and the power which protecteth me is that which is with all the gods for ever i am he whose name is hidden and whose habitation is holy for millions of years i am he who dwelleth therein and i come forth along with the god tem i am he who shall not be condemned i am strong i am strong chapter eight from the papyrus of ani vignette the emblem of amenta towards which ani clad in white and holding a staff in his left hand and a bandlet in the right is walking text the chapter of passing through amentet and coming forth by day saith osiris ani the city of unu hermopolis is opened my head is sealed up o thoth and strong is the eye of horus i have delivered the eye of horus which shineth with splendours on the forehead of ra the father of the gods i am the same osiris the dweller in amentet osiris knoweth his day and that he shall live through his period of life and shall not i do likewise i am the moon god who dwelleth among the gods i shall not perish 
Stand up therefore, O Horus, for Osiris hath reckoned thee among the gods. Chapter 9 From the Papyrus of Ani Vignette A ram having upon his head the Atef Kram, standing upon a pylon-shaped pedestal, which rests on a green reed mat. Before him is an altar, upon which stand a libation vase and a lotus flower. The scribe Ani, clothed in white, stands with both hands raised in adoration. Text The chapter of coming forth by day, after having made the passage through the tomb, saith Osiris Ani, the chapter of attacking enemies. Hail, soul, thou mighty one of strength, Verily, I am here, I have come, I behold thee. I have passed through the Tuat underworld. I have seen my divine father Osiris. I have scattered the gloom of night. I am his beloved one. I have come, I have seen my divine father Osiris. I have stabbed the heart of Suti. I have performed all the ceremonies for my divine father Osiris. I have opened every way in heaven and in earth. I am the son who loveth his father Osiris. I have become a Sahu. I have become a Ku. I am furnished with what I need. Hail, every god! Hail, every Ku! I have made a path for myself. I, Osiris, the scribe, Ani, victorious. Chapter 10 From the Papyrus of Ani Vignette Ani, clad in white, spearing a serpent Text Another chapter to be said by a man who cometh forth by day against his enemies in the underworld. Saith Osiris Ani I have divided the heavens, I have cleft the horizon, I have traversed the earth, following upon his footsteps. The mighty Ku taketh possession of me, and carrieth me away, because, behold, I am provided with his magical words for millions of years. I eat with my mouth, I crush my food with my jawbones. Behold, I am the god who is the lord of the Tuat underworld. May there be given unto me, Osiris, Ani, these things in perpetuity, without fail or lessening. Chapter 11 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette This chapter is without a vignette in both the Theban and Sa'ite recessions. Text The chapter of a man coming forth against his enemies in the underworld. The overseer of the palace, the chancellor-in-chief, new, triumphant, saith, O thou God, who eatest thine arm, I have departed from thy road. I am Ra, and I have come forth from the horizon against my enemies, and he hath granted to me that they shall not escape from me. I have made an offering, and my hand is like that of the lord of the Uraret Kram. I have lifted up my feet, even as the Urayi goddesses rise up. My overthrow shall not be accomplished, and as for mine enemy, he hath been given over into my power, and he shall not be delivered from me. I shall stand up like Horus, and I shall sit down like Patar, and I shall be mighty like Thoth, and I shall be strong like Tem. 
I shall, therefore, walk with my legs. I shall speak with my mouth. I shall go round about in quest of mine enemy. And as he hath been delivered over to me, he shall not escape from me. Chapter 12 From the Papyrus of Nu Vignette This chapter is without a vignette in both Theban and Sa'ite recessions. Text The chapter of going into and of coming forth from the underworld the osiris nu triumphant saith hymns of praise to thee o ra thy keeper of secret gates which are on the brow of the god seb by the side of the balance of ra wherein he lifteth up right and truth mart day by day in very truth i have burst through the earth Grant thou unto me that I may go forward and arrive at the state of old age. Chapter 13 From the Papyrus of Nebsani Vignette This chapter is without a vignette in both the Theban and Sayite recensions. Text the chapter of entering into and of coming forth from Amentet. Osiris, the scribe Nebseni, victorious, saith, Mortals, I go in like the hawk, and I come forth like the Benu bird, the morning star of Ra. May a path be made for me, whereby I may enter in peace into the beautiful Amentet, and may I be by the lake of Horus, and may I lead the greyhounds of Horus, and may a path be made for me, whereby I may enter in and adore Osiris, the Lord of Life. In the Theban recension, this chapter appears without a rubric, but in the Sa'ite recension, as given in the Turin Papyrus, we have the following. A rubric. This chapter is to be recited over a ring made of ankum flowers, which shall be laid on the right ear of the Ku, together with another ring wrapped up in a strip of byssus cloth, whereon the name of Osiris, Auf Ank, victorious, born of the lady Shart Amsu, victorious, shall be done in writing on the day of sepulture. Chapter 14 From the Papyrus of Mes M. Neta Vignette this chapter has no vignette, either in the Theban or in the Sa'ite recension. Text The chapter of putting an end to any shame that may be in the heart of the god, for the chief deputy of Amen, the scribe, Mes M. Neta, victorious, who saith, Hymns of praise to thee, O thou God, who makest the moment to advance, thou dweller among mysteries of every kind, thou guardian of the word which I speak. Behold, the God hath shame of me, but let my faults be washed away, and let them fall upon both hands of the God of right and truth. Do away utterly with the transgression which is in me, together with my wickedness and sinfulness, O God of right and truth, may this God be at peace with me. Do away utterly with the obstacles which are between thee and me. O thou to whom offerings are made in the divine city of Keno, grant thou 
that i may bring to thee the offerings which will make peace between thee and men whereon thou livest and that i also may live thereon be thou at peace with me and do away utterly with all the shame of me which thou hast in thy heart because of me End of chapter 18chapter 19 of jerusalem to revelations a quartet of spiritual experience by william blake and others this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by tony addison the chapters of coming forth by day chapter Chapter 15 From the Papyrus of Ani Vignette Ani, standing, with both hands raised in adoration before Ra, hawk-headed, and seated in a boat floating upon the sky. On a platform in the bows, sits the god hero parkrat harpocrates with his right hand raised to his mouth which he touches with one finger the side of the boat is ornamented with feathers of mart and with an uchat the handles of the oars and the tops of the rollock are in the form of hawks' heads, and on the blades of the oars are uchats. Text A hymn of praise to Ra when he riseth upon the horizon, and when he setteth in the land of life. Osiris, the scribe Ani, saith, Homage to thee, O Ra, when thou risest, as Tem Heru Kuti, Tem Hamakis. Thou art adored by me, when thy beauties are before mine eyes, and when thy radiance falleth upon my body. Thou goest forth to thy setting in the sectet boat with fair winds, and thy heart is glad. The heart of the matet boat rejoiceth thou stridest over the heavens in peace and all thy foes are cast down the never resting stars sing hymns of praise unto thee and the stars which rest and the stars which never fail glorify thee as thou sinkest to rest in the horizon of mania o thou who art beautiful at morn and at eve o thou lord who livest and art established o my lord homage to thee o thou who art ra when thou risest and tem when thou settest in beauty thou risest and shinest on the back of thy mother Nut, O thou who art crowned king of the gods. Nut doeth homage unto thee, and everlasting and never changing order embraceth thee at morn and at eve. Thou stridest over the heaven, being glad of heart and the lake of testes is content thereat the sabau fiend hath fallen to the ground his arms and his hands have been hacked off and the knife hath severed the joints of his body ra hath a fair wind the sectet boat goeth forth 
and sailing along it cometh into port the gods of the south and of the north of the west and of the east praise thee o thou divine substance from whom all forms of life come into being thou sendest forth the word and the earth is flooded with silence. O thou only one, who didst dwell in heaven before ever the earth and the mountains came into existence. O runner, O lord, O only one, thou maker of things which are, thou hast fashioned the tongue of the company of the gods, thou hast produced whatsoever cometh forth from the waters and thou springest up from them over the flooded land of the lake of horus let me snuff the air which cometh forth from thy nostrils and the north wind which cometh forth from thy mother nut o oh, make thou to be glorious my shining form ku o osiris make thou to be divine my soul ba thou art worshipped in peace or in setting o lord of the gods thou art exalted by reason of thy wondrous works shine thou with thy rays of light upon my body day by day upon me osiris the scribe the teller of the divine offerings of all the gods the overseer of the granary of the lords of abtu abydos the royal scribe in truth who loveth thee ani victorious in peace chapter fifteen him and litany to osiris from the papyrus of ani vignette osiris ani the royal scribe in truth who loveth ra the scribe and teller of the divine offerings of all the gods and osiris thuthu the lady of the house the singing woman of amen standing in adoration before the god osiris who accompanied by the goddess isis stands in a shrine made in the form of a funeral chest text praise be unto thee o osiris lord of eternity unnefa herukuti harmachis whose forms are manifold and whose attributes are majestic pata sekar tem in anu heliopolis the lord of the hidden place and the creator of het ka pata memphis and of the gods therein the guide of the underworld whom the gods glorify when thou settest in nut isis embraceth thee in peace and she driveth away the fiends from the mouth of thy paths thou turnest thy face upon amentet and thou makest the earth to shine as with refined copper those who have lain down that is the dead rise up to see thee they breathe the air and they look upon thy face when the disk riseth on its horizon their hearts are at peace inasmuch as they behold thee o thou who art eternity and everlastingness litany homage to thee o lord of starry deities in anu and of heavenly beings in Ker Abba, thou god Unti, who art more glorious than the gods 
who are hidden in Anu. O oh, grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O An in Antes, Heru Kute, Harmachis. With long strides thou stridest over heaven, O Heru Kuti. O grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O soul of everlastingness, thou soul who dwellest in Tatu, Unnefer, son of Nut, thou art lord of Akert, O grant thou unto me a path wherein I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, in thy dominion over Tatu, the Uraret crown is established upon thy head. Thou art the one who maketh the strength which protecteth himself, and thou dwellest in peace in Tatu. O oh, grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O Lord of the Acacia tree, the saker boat is set upon its sledge, thou turnest back the fiend, the worker of evil, and thou causest the Uchat to rest upon its seat. O grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou who art mighty in thine hour, thou great and mighty prince, dweller in Anarutuf, lord of eternity, and creator of everlastingness. Thou art the lord of Suten Henen, Heracleopolis Magna. O oh, grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O oh, thou who restest upon right and truth, thou art the lord of Abtu, Abydos, and thy limbs are joined unto Tachesatet. Thou art he to whom fraud and guile are hateful. O oh, grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O thou who art within thy boat, who bringest happy, that is, the Nile, forth from his source. The light shineth upon thy body, and thou art the dweller in Nekan. O grant thou unto me, a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Homage to thee, O creator of the gods, thou king of the north and of the south, O Osiris, victorious one, ruler of the world in thy gracious seasons, Thou art the Lord of the celestial world. O oh, grant thou unto me a path whereon I may pass in peace, for I am just and true. I have not spoken lies wittingly, nor have I done aught with deceit. Him, 
to Ra. From the Papyrus of Ani. Text. A hymn of praise to Ra, when he riseth in the eastern part of heaven. Those who are in his train rejoice, and lo, Osiris, Ani victorious, saith, Hail, thou didst, thou lord of rays, who risest on the horizon day by day, shine thou with thy beams of light upon the face of Osiris Ani, who is victorious. For he singeth hymns of praise to thee at dawn, and he maketh thee to set at eventide with words of adoration. May the soul of Osiris Ani, the triumphant one, come forth with thee into heaven. May he go forth in the matet boat. May he come into port in the sectet boat, and may he cleave his path among the never-resting stars in the heavens. Osiris Ani, being in peace and in triumph, adoreth his Lord, the Lord of eternity, saying, Homage to thee, O Herukuti, Harmachis, who art the god Kephera, the self-created, when thou risest on the horizon, and sheddest thy beams of light upon the lands of the north and of the south, thou art beautiful, yea, beautiful, and all the gods rejoice when they behold thee, the king of heaven. The goddess Nebd Unut established upon thy head, and her Yorai of the south and of the north are upon thy brow. She taketh up her place before thee. The god Thoth established in the bows of thy boat to destroy utterly all thy foes, those who are in the Tuat underworld come forth to meet thee, and they bow in homage as they come towards thee to behold thy beautiful image. And I have come before thee, that I may be with thee, to behold thy disc every day. May I not be shut up in the tomb, may I not be turned back, may the limbs of my body be made new again, when I view thy beauties, even as are those of all thy favoured ones because I am one of those who worship thee whilst I lived upon earth. May I come in unto the land of eternity. May I come even unto the everlasting land. For behold, O my Lord, this hast thou ordained for me. And, lo, Osiris Ani, triumphant in peace, the triumphant one, saith, Homage to thee, O thou who risest in thy horizon as Ra, thou reposest upon law which changeth not, nor can it be altered. Thou passest over the sky, and every face watcheth thee and thy course for thou hast been hidden from their gaze. Thou dost show thyself at dawn and at eventide day by day. The sectet boat wherein is thy majesty goeth forth with might. Thy beams shine upon all faces. The number of thy red and yellow rays cannot be known nor can thy bright beams be told. The lands of the gods and the eastern lands of Punt must be seen ere that which is hidden in thee may be measured. Alone and by thyself thou dost manifest thyself when thou comest into being above Nu. 
that is the sky. May Ani advance, even as thou dost advance. May he never cease to go forward, even as thy majesty ceaseth not to go forward, even though it be for a moment, for with strides dost thou, in one little moment, pass over the spaces which would need hundreds of thousands and millions of years for man to pass over. This thou doest, and then dost thou sink to rest. Thou puttest an end to the hours of the night, and thou dost count them even thou, thou endest them in thine own appointed season, and the earth becometh light. Thou settest thyself before thy handiwork in the likeness of Ra, thou risest in the horizon. O Zyrus, the scribe Ani, triumphant, declareth his praise of thee when thou shinest, and when thou risest at dawn, he crieth in his joy at thy birth. Thou art crowned with the majesty of thy beauties. Thou mouldest thy limbs as thou dost advance, and thou bringest them forth without birth pangs, in the form of Ra, as thou dost rise up into the upper air. Grant thou that I may come unto the heaven which is everlasting, and unto the mountain where dwell thy favoured ones. May I be joined unto those shining beings, holy and perfect, who are in the underworld, and may I come forth with them to behold thy beauties when thou shinest at eventide, and goest to thy mother new. Thou dost place thyself in the west, and my two hands are raised in adoration of thee, when thou settest as a living being. Behold, thou art the maker of eternity, and thou art adored when thou settest in the heavens. I have given my heart unto thee without wavering. O thou, who art mightier than the gods. Osiris, Ani, triumphant, saith, A hymn of praise to thee, O thou, who risest like unto gold, and who dost flood the world with light on the day of thy birth. Thy mother giveth thee birth upon her hand, and thou dost give light unto the course of the disk. O thou great light, who shinest in the heavens, thou dost strengthen the generations of men with the Nile flood, and thou dost cause gladness in all lands, and in all cities, and in all the temples. Thou art glorious, by reason of thy splendours, and thou makest strong thy car, that is, double, with foods. O thou, who art the mighty one of victories, thou, who art the power of all powers, who dost make strong thy throne against evil fiends, who art glorious in majesty in the sectet boat, and who art exceeding mighty in the Atet boat. Make thou glorious, O Zyrus Ani, with victory in the underworld. Grant thou that in the netherworld he may be without evil. I pray thee to put away his faults behind thee. Grant thou that he may be one of thy venerable servants who are with the shining ones. May he be joined unto the souls which are in Tarteshetet, and may he journey into the Seket Haru, 
by a prosperous and happy decree, he, the Osiris, the scribe, Ani triumphant. And the God saith, Thou shalt come forth into heaven, thou shalt pass over the sky, thou shalt be joined into the starry deities. Praises shall be offered unto thee in thy boat, thou shalt be hymned in the Atet boat, thou shalt behold Ra within his shrine, thou shalt set together with his disc day by day, thou shalt see the ant-fish when it springeth into being in the waters of turquoise and thou shalt see the abtu fish in his hour it shall come to pass that the evil one shall fall when he layeth a snare to destroy thee and the joints of his neck and of his back shall be hacked asunder ra saileth with a fair wind and the sectet boat draweth on, and cometh into port. The mariners of Ra rejoice, and the heart of Nebt Ankh is glad, for the enemy of her lord hath fallen to the ground. Thou shalt behold Horus on the standing place of the pilot of the boat, and Thoth and Mart shall stand one upon each side of him. All the gods shall rejoice when they behold Ra coming in peace to make the hearts of the shining ones to live, and Osiris Ani, victorious, the scribe of the divine offerings of the lords of Thebes, shall be along with them. A hymn to the setting sun from the papyrus of mut hetep vignette in this papyrus this chapter is without a vignette text another chapter of the mystery of the tuat underworld and of passing through the unseen netherworld and of seeing the disk when he setteth in Amentet, when he is adored by the gods and by the Khus in the underworld, and when the soul which dwelleth in Ra is made perfect. He is made mighty before Tem, he is made great before Osiris. He setteth his terror before the company of the gods who are the guides of the netherworld. He maketh long his steps, and he maketh his face to enter with that of the great God. Now every Ku, for whom these words shall have been said, shall come forth by day in any form which he is pleased to take. He shall gain power among the gods of the Tuat underworld, and they shall recognize him as one of themselves, and he shall enter in at the hidden gate with power. The lady Mut Hetep Victorious singeth hymns of praise to thee, saying, O Ratem, in thy splendid progress thou risest, and thou settest as a living being in the glories of the western horizon. Thou settest in thy territory, which is in Manu. Thy Urias is behind thee, thy Urias is behind thee. Homage to thee, O thou who art in peace. Homage to thee, O thou who art in peace. Thou art joined unto the eye of Tem, and it chooseth its powers of protection to place behind thy members. Thou goest forth through heaven, thou travellest over the earth, and thou journeyest onward. O oh, luminary, the northern and southern halves of heaven come to thee, and they bow low in adoration, 
and they pay homage unto thee day by day. The gods of Amentet rejoice in thy beauties, and the unseen places sing hymns of praise unto thee. Those who dwell in the sectet boat go round about thee, and the souls of the east pay homage to thee, and when they meet thy majesty they cry, Come, come in peace. There is a shout of welcome to thee, O Lord of heaven and governor of Amentet. Thou art acknowledged by Isis, who seeth her son in thee, the Lord of fear, the mighty one of terror. Thou settest as a living being in the hidden place. Thy father, ta Tunen, raiseth thee up, and he placeth both his hands behind thee. Thou becomest endowed with divine attributes in thy members of earth. Thou wakest in peace, and thou settest in Manu. Grant thou that I may become a being honoured before Osiris, and that I may come to thee, O Ratem. I have adored thee, therefore do thou for me that which I wish. Grant thou that I may be victorious in the presence of the company of the gods. Thou art beautiful, O Ra, in thy western horizon of Amentet, thou lord of Mart thou mighty one of fear, thou whose attributes are majestic, O oh, thou who art greatly beloved by those who dwell in the Tuat underworld, thou shinest with thy beams upon the beings that are therein perpetually, and thou sendest forth thy light upon the path of Restau. Thou openest up the path of the double lion god, thou settest the gods upon their thrones, and the Khus in their abiding places. The heart of Nar Earth is glad when Ra setteth. The heart of Nar Earth is glad when Ra setteth. Hail, O ye gods! of the land of Amentet, who make offerings and oblations unto Ratem. Ascribe ye glory unto him when ye meet him. Grasp ye your weapons, and overthrow ye the fiend Seba on behalf of Ra, and repulse the fiend Neb on behalf of Osiris. The gods of the land of Amentet rejoice, and lay hold upon the cords of the sectet boat, and they come in peace. The gods of the hidden place who dwell in Amentet triumph. Hail, Thoth, who didst make Osiris to triumph over his enemies, make thou Mut Hetep victorious to triumph over her enemies, in the presence of the great divine sovereign chiefs who live with Osiris, the Lord of Life. The great God who dwelleth in his disc cometh forth, that is, Horus, the avenger of his father, Unephara. Osiris setteth, and the Aziz who are in the Tuat underworld, say, Homage to thee, O thou who comest as Tem, and who comest into being as the creator of the gods. Homage to thee, O thou who comest as the holy soul of souls, who dwellest in the horizon. Homage to thee, who art more glorious than all the gods, and who illuminest the Tuat with thine eye. Homage to thee, who sailest in thy glory, and who goest round about in thy disc. The following variant of the above hymn is translated from the text 
in the papyrus of Nectu Amen. Another chapter of the mystery of the Tuat, underworld, and of traversing the unseen places of the underworld, of seeing the disk when he setteth in Amentet, when he is adored by the gods and by the Kus of the Tuat, underworld, and when the divine Ku, which dwelleth within Ra, is made perfect. He setteth his might before Ra, he setteth his power before Tem, he setteth his strength before Kenti Amentet, and he setteth his terror before the company of the gods. The Osiris of the gods goeth as leader through the Tuat underworld. He crasheth through mountains, he bursteth through rocks, he maketh glad the heart of every Ku. This composition shall be recited by the deceased when he cometh forth, and when he goeth in with the gods, among whom he findeth no opposition. Then shall he come forth by day, in all the manifold and exceedingly numerous forms which he may be pleased to take. The Osiris saith, A hymn of praise to Ra at eventide, when he setteth as a living being in Barka. The great god who dwelleth in his disk riseth in his two eyes, and all the Kus of the underworld receive him in his horizon of Amentet. They shout praises unto Herukuti Harmachis in his form of Tem, and they sing hymns of joy to Ra, when they have received him at the head of his beautiful path of Amentet. He, the deceased, saith, Praise be unto thee, O Ra, praise be unto thee, O Tem, in thy splendid progress. Thou hast risen, and thou hast put on strength, and thou settest like a living being amid thy glories in the horizon of Amentet, in thy domain which is in Manu. Thy Urias goddess is behind thee, thy Urias goddess is behind thee. Hail to thee in peace, hail to thee in peace. Thou joinest thyself unto the eye of Horus, and thou hidest thyself within its secret place. It destroyeth for thee all the convulsions of thy face. It maketh thee strong with life, and thou livest. It bindeth its protecting amulets behind thy members. Thou sailest forth over heaven, and thou makest the earth to be established. Thou joinest thyself unto the upper heaven, O luminary. The two regions of the east and west make adoration unto thee, bowing low and paying homage unto thee, and they praise thee day by day. The gods of Amentet rejoice in thy splendid beauties. The hidden places adore thee. The aged ones make offerings unto thee, and they create for thee protecting powers. The divine beings who dwell in the eastern and western horizons transport thee, and those who are in the sectet boat convey thee round and about. The souls of Amentet cry out unto thee, and say unto thee, when they meet thy majesty, life, health, strength, all hail, all hail, when thou comest forth in peace, there arise shouts of delight to thee, O thou Lord of heaven, thou Prince of Amentet. Thy mother Isis embraceth thee, and in thee she recogniseth her son, the Lord of fear, the mighty one of terror. Thou settest as a living being 
within the dark portal. Thy father, Tachunen, lifteth thee up, and he stretcheth out his two hands behind thee. Thou becomest a divine being in the earth. Thou wakest as thou settest, and thy habitation is in Manu. Grant thou that I may be venerated before Osiris, and come thou to me, O Ratem. Since thou hast been adored by me, that which I wish thou shalt do for me day by day. Grant thou victory unto me before the great company of the gods, O Ra, who art doubly beautiful in thy horizon of Amentet, thou lord of Mart, who dwellest in the horizon. The fear of thee is great, thy forms are majestic, and the love of thee is great among those who dwell in the underworld. A Hymn to the Setting Sun From a Papyrus of the Nineteenth Dynasty Preserved at Dublin Vignette the deceased and his wife, standing with both hands raised in adoration before a table of offerings, upon which are a libation vase and lotus flowers. Text A Hymn of Praise to Ra Heru Kuti, Ra Hamakis, when he setteth in the western part of heaven. He that is the deceased, saith, Homage to thee, O Ra, who in thy setting art Tem Herukuti, Tem Herumachus, thou divine God, thou self-created being, thou primeval matter from which all things were made. When thou appearest in the bowels of thy bark, Men shout for joy at thee, O maker of the gods. Thou didst stretch out the heavens, wherein thy two eyes might travel. Thou didst make the earth to be a vast chamber for thy coos, so that every man might know his fellow. The sectet boat is glad, and the martet boat rejoiceth, and they greet thee with exultation as thou journeyest along. The god knew his content, and thy mariners are satisfied. The Urias goddess hath overthrown thine enemies, and thou hast carried off the legs of Apep. Thou art beautiful, O Ra, each day, and thy mother Nut embraceth thee. Thou settest in beauty, and thy heart is glad in the horizon of Manu and the holy beings therein rejoice. Thou shinest there with thy beams, O thou great God, Osiris, the everlasting prince. The lords of the zones of the Tuat in their caverns stretch out their hands in adoration before thy car, double, and they cry out to thee, and they all come forth in the train of thy form, shining brilliantly. The hearts of the lords of the Tuat underworld are glad when thou sendest forth thy glorious light in Amentet. Their two eyes are directed towards thee, and they press forward to see thee, and their hearts rejoice when they do see thee. Thou hearkenest and to the acclamations of those that are in the funeral chest. Thou doest away with their helplessness, and drivest away the evils which are about them. Thou givest breath to their nostrils, and they take hold of the bows of thy bark in the horizon of Manu. Thou art beautiful each day, O Ra, and may thy mother newt Embrace Osiris victorious. End of chapter nineteen.